Glory to God in the highest place. I sing glory to God in the highest place. I sing glory to God in the highest place. God bless you and thank you for joining. I sing glory to God in the highest place. Please share. This is going to be good. I sing glory to God in the highest place. I sing glory to God. In the highest praise. God bless you, Tasha. I sing glory to God. God bless you, Sioni. In the highest praise. I sing glory to God. In the highest praise. I sing glory to God. Share to your groups. In the highest praise, I sing glory to God. In the highest praise. So I just wanted to remind somebody who may be going through and courage, um, empower and inspire you today that you know what? That this is the decade of Trump. Hi, Edible. See, I know y'all don't know where I'm going with this, but I'm going somewhere with this, right? Just remember, for the kingdom is the Lord's and he rules over all the nation. That is Psalms 22, 28. This is the decade of Trump. So guess what? Um, there are some things that's going to trump the mess, the misery, trump the economy. Um, so Trump, what does it mean to Trump? It means to outlast, to outperform, to outstage, right? So this is the decade of Trump, and God is going to outperform, outstage what the enemy is trying to do in our life. So you may be discouraged right now, you may be feeling down, but just sing glory to God in the highest praise. Share to your groups, I sing glory to God in the highest praise. So I'm going to um, break down why. This is the decade of Trump. Somebody put that in on the air. This is the decade of Trump, right? We speak those things that be not as though they were, right? We walk by faith and walk not by sight, right? So if you're walking in the spirit, then you already know that there are some things that's going to outlast and outperform what the enemy is throwing at you. Sing glory to God in the highest praise so this is the decade of trump so what does that mean so if some things are gonna you're gonna um so actually donald i mean trump means world ruler right but we know that god is in control right i just read the scripture to you for the kingdom is the lord and he rules over all the nations right yes tasha this is the decade of trump right this is a decade where we're going to triumph this is a decade of tools of training of tr um teaching of talent this is the decade of trump right this is a decade where there might be some trials be some tribulation this is the decade where you need to learn that this is uh you're in a season of transition season of transformation this is the decade of trump i need you to put that on there because what god the revelation that he gave me for this this is the decade of redemption of righteousness of restructuring of refreshing recreation refinement rewards reverence resources the decade of remarkable Somebody put that on and say, this is my decade of the remarkable, right? This is the decade where I need to be tenacious, right? Through the trials because God is going to um, show me how to triumph, right? This is the decade where God is regulating, right? This is the decade where you should be rejoicing, hallelujah, where you are reconciled back to the Father. The backsliders, that was the word he released last week, that he is calling in the backsliders. But you got to run to him. I sing glory to God in the highest praise. 
right? Yes, this is the decade of the remarkable. This is the decade where you need to take risks. Hallelujah. Risk it all for God. This is the decade, hallelujah, of uncommon, right, favor. A decade where you should be unyielding and utilize every um, thing at your fingertips, every tool, every root resource. This is a decade where God's going to give you knowledge and understanding. Death day, decade when you should be uplifted, unyielding. Hallelujah. This is the decade that is this. This is where you should be never be upstaged by what the enemy is doing in your life. He's trying to wreak habit, right? But what God has um, done in your life, even thus far, trumps what the enemy tried to do in your life. So this is the decade of Trump. This is the decade of monumental change, momentum, manifestations, right? Mindful engagement, right? Mindfulness. You need to be mindful, mindful. This is the decade when you better get the message, right? Hallelujah. And listen to the chief intercessor. I'm the messenger, messenger of hope, right? Hallelujah. This is that decade where you better know the message. The, the Lord wants me to remind some you guys what message are you following who are you following right i hope you follow with jesus right so this is the decade of pioneers of perseverance a perfection of peacefulness of persistence where you need to be positioned on purpose this is the decade of purpose of promise of prayer of passion the passion of power of patience so what is this the decade the decade of trump right? The decade of uncommonness, of pioneering, right? This is the decade where the eyes of the Lord are every place, right? Because they always is. It beholds evil. It beholds good, right? So I said, this is the decade where you need to be moving. This is the decade of God's mercy, of his miracles, right? Of your maturity. You should be maturing in something and growth, your spiritual growth. You should be maturing in that. Your, your household should be maturing as a family, you should be mature and impaired. This is the decade of major growth, major events, God's melodies for heaven. God should be downloading new melodies. You have to be mindful. You have to have a message. What is your message, right? What message are you li listening to? And what is the message of the decade, right? That whatever is happening on God trumps it all. So this is the decade of Trump. I know some people are like, why is she saying this is the decade of Trump? Because God trumps it all. That means God will outstage the enemy. God will outperform the enemy. God will out, 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 out last the enemy, right? Because the pioneers and the um, sons and daughters are rising up and being counted, right? This is the decade that is going to trump, hallelujah, the previous decades, right? This is the decade where you need to be unwavering. So I said, this is the decade of triumph, of trade, of teaching, of tools, of timeliness. You better be instant in season and out of season, right? You better, you should be sharing this to your groups. You can't hold this all to yourself. This is the decade that is going to trump, hallelujah, what the enemy is trying to do in your life when you are steadfast, when you are immovable. In Ephesians 4, 6, the word of God says, there's one God, one father of all, who is over all, through all, and in all. I'm going to say that again. Ephesians 4, 6 says, one God, one God. That means he trumps it all. One creator. He is. He said, for the kingdom is the Lord's and he rules over all nations. That means he rules over trumps. He rules over Biden, right? And if God is in control, then that trumps any ID, um, your your own mindset. So this needs to be the decade that you're mindful and there's a message. Hallelujah. You better get the message that God is in control. God is in control. God is in control. So you don't have to lose control. Ha <laughs> ha, yeah, but see, God, somebody said God is in control. So I don't have to be out of control. I don't have to lose control because this is the decade that of Trump. Hallelujah. Of triumph. There's going to be some trials, but there's going to be some teaching. There's going to be some timeliness. There's going to be tenacious behavior. Hallelujah. There's going to be some trials. There's going to be some transformation, right? Hi, yeah, we'll see. Yes, there's some truth. 
And you better recognize when you're at this is a decade of transition. This has been a decade of transition since the beginning of the year alignment. I said this is the the word that the Lord had me release that this was the year of the great exchange of knowledge, of understanding, right? And wisdom from our only wise God. You can only get wisdom from the only wise God that releases it timely, that releases it to those who have an ear to hear what thus say of the Lord. Wisdom only comes from the only wise God. So if this is the last decade that of, of Trump, of triumph, of trade, of tools, of teaching, of talent, of trials and tribulation, God trumps them all. Meaning Trump means to outlast, to outperform, to upstage, right? Uncommon wisdom, uncommon favor, uncommon yielding. This is the decade where you need to utilize all the tools and resources at your hand. This is the decade of manifestation, right? Of movement, of mindfulness, perseverance, pioneering, perfection, peacefulness, purpose. This is the decade where you need to position yourself. I will see and be patient because the power of God from on high is going to trump the messiness, the misery, right? This is a decade of alignment. So allow God to align you, to position you, and go through the process. Endure like good soldiers. Don't complain. Don't backbite. Don't regret. But reinvent, reform. This is, this is a decade of reformation, right? Reformation. Redemption, right? remarkable the, are you i'm telling you the lord said he, that there's going to be a cloud burst coming soon and that's when the clouds get real heavy that there's such a, a a dangerous storm a angry storm right and it releases um the filled clouds but i see that as the release that's going to be uh, released over the body of christ is the cloud burst of the glory cloud right so in this decade of trump what's the r stand for revival <laughs> refreshing winds winds of change coming right so a thunderous storm happens um, when there's a cloud burst. So we're going to believe that the glory cloud is going to burst upon the sons and daughters, right? That glory cloud is going to be released upon the earth. Why? Because God trumps it all. For the kingdom is the Lord's and he rules over the nations. So I need somebody to come on agreement for the glory cloud to be released. God said that it's going to be a cloud burst. I need you to come on agreement that the glory cloud is going to be released for the sons and daughters because we crying out huh? because God trumps anything that's going on in the earth, right? He has the final say. So somebody thank God for having the final say. It's called a cloud burst. Where there's a thunderous storm that's coming and the clouds, the, the clouds can no longer hold the water. And sometimes there's a hell storm. There's a lightning storm because the clouds can no longer hold the water. So let's pray that the clouds will no longer hold the water and that the clouds will burst, the glory clouds will burst over the nations so that the sons and the daughters, hallelujah, hallelujah, will be manifest in this day. So let's thank God for the glory cloud that's coming. It's coming, people. It's coming, right? Because this is the decade of Trump, the decade of triumph, the decade of tools, resources, restructuring, redemption, risks, right? Remarkable resources, right? Recreation, refinement, rewards, uplifting, Hi, uniqueness. This is the dec this is this decade is so monumental change, right? This is that decade, but you got to be unyielding, unwavering. This is that decade of uncommon release. Somebody put that up. This is a decade of uncommon release. So, Father God, we thank you for the glory cloud. Please share to your groups. This is the decade of uncommon release, and the glory cloud is coming by way of a cloud burst in the natural and in the spiritual. It's, uh, so, a cloud burst, I said, is when the clouds fill up with so much water that they cannot contain it, and it produces a thunderous storm. So, I'm believing that it's going to produce a thunderous storm in the natural and the supernatural for a supernatural cleansing, supernatural revival. Yes, let's praise God for a supernatural, uncommon release. This is the decade of Trump. Yes, hallelujah. For the kingdom of the Lord is 
his and he rules over the nation his god right and the eyes of the lord are every place beholding good and evil and god is tired of the eagle the evil right so he's releasing his eagles hallelujah that are going to mount up hallelujah hallelujah they're going to walk and not be weary they're going to run hallelujah they're going to mount up, yes. So I thank God for the uncommon release, uncommon favor. I thank God that he is teaching his sons and daughters to utilize the tools, the resources that are before you. Hallelujah. To utilize your unique list, to be unyielding, to rejoice, to be reconciled. By, and this is the decade where God is regulating something. So what he gave me the acronym for Trump was to triumph, right? Tools, um, and um, tenacious, right? Transition and transformation. R stands for risk, righteousness, redemption, refreshing, recreation, reconciliation, and regulation. And this is, and also do not forget evidence and results, right? That um. The U stands for uncommon utilization, understanding, and uniqueness, right? Um, the M stands for momentum, manifestation, and monumental change. The P stands for pioneering spirit. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The sons and the daughters of God need to have a pioneering spirit so we can be forerunners, not just in the faith, forerunners in the earth, right? Pioneering, perseverance, peaceful. You need to have a peaceful spirit. You need to be positioned on purpose. You need to have a praying spirit. You need to have passion. And you need to walk in your purpose so you can um, receive the promise and and realize that God has already released his power in the earth, right? Because this is the decade of Trump, right? Hallelujah. And the M also stands for meaningful mindfulness. You need to know what's going on. Hallelujah. You need to know what's going on in the earth. You need to know that what's going on in the election. You need to know what's going on in your household. So you need to have understanding, divine understanding, divine understanding so you can be catapulted right so you won't sink i said it's time out for living in the sinking place living in the gray area god is calling you back home if you're in a backslidden state right but you need to be positioned you need to be mindful and this is the decade of magnitude major events hallelujah so I thank God for the positive release today. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I pray that the Lord will connect you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. With your purpose. If you're out of alignment in Jesus mighty name. So I come on agreement. Hallelujah. For everyone. Hallelujah. That want to rise up and be counted in this year. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Say this is the decade of new, new, new beginnings. Hallelujah. Of knowledge, understanding and wisdom from our only wise God. Hallelujah. This is the decade of Trump. Share to your groups. I'm telling you, that is a prophetic word that the Lord gave me. This is the desk year of the decade of Trump that trumps the messiness, the misery, um, the release of deceitfulness, the release of anger. This is the decade that's going to trump all that. Hallelujah. When you um, render yourself, your heart back to God. So God bless you all. This was just brief. I'm at the park with my son. I love you. Yes. New everything. Yes. New, new beginnings. That's what the Lord told me. This is a new decade. We got a fresh start. And that's, you know, what the problem is so many people missed it. They missed it when the coronavirus was released because y'all know it was released. They missed it. So many people missed it. Don't miss your message. Don't miss your release. Don't re um, miss your opportunity for restructuring, for realigning. So many people missed it because they cowered away in fear. And when they said, you know, a quarantine, people, they separated themselves even from God. Do not miss the message of this year. It's time for restructuring, reformation, um, regeneration. Some of you... Um, um, <laughs> um, and I'm going to tell you, you have to know what season you in. And for many people, this is a season of transition. Don't allow the transition to cause you to quit. Allow the transition to reform you, to restructure, um, to refresh you, to refine you. Do not allow the transition because you got a reward out there. There is a reward waiting for you when you can hold on. When you can hold on, be tenacious. 
the trials will come, tribulations. But I'm telling you, God said this is just a, the decade of Trump, the just a, the decade of reformation, triumph, right? Tools and teaching. If you didn't hear anything else, I said this is a decade of tools and teaching. We all got a talent. Some is buried well deep because you don't allow yourself to get caught up in what you see. So God bless you all. Um, so if I've got, I just pray over this broadcast that every word that was released, that this is the decade of Trump, you know, Lord, that you are ruler of over the nations. Um, you said one God, one father, all who is over all and through all and in all. So we thank you, Lord, that there is an end of a thing and that this is the decade of Trump. So we will triumph. The righteous will be restructured, will use their resources, and they will reverence you because you are regulating and be reconciled to you. Rejoice, reference you, Lord, and that there is uncommon favor, uncommon blessings, uncommon resources that is coming uncommon protection hot supernatural protection uncommon um promises and the power of god and the power of prayer hallelujah will be evident in the earth in the season of trump and it's going to be uncommon revival the revival that is coming to the land, to the earth, it's going to be uncommon. It's not going to be like it was before. It's not going to be like Azusa Street. It's going to be totally different. God doesn't do the same thing over and over. It's time for a change, people. So pray for the cloud burst to be released, which the Lord told me that's going to be a glory cloud that's going to re be released in the earth when the sons and the daughters cry out and do not get caught up. And do not get tossed to and through because of the transformation, because of the transition. But they will allow God to transform in, um, in a timely time. God said this is a timely time. So I thank God for the cowbirds that will produce much revival, that will produce a pioneer spirit when you persevere and peaceful. So, Father God, I thank you. And if there's anyone on here who don't know Jesus as their personal Savior, um, all you have to do is confess with your uh, mouth, believe in your heart that Jesus Christ is Lord. Renounce your sins. Renounce any witchcraft. Re renounce any dirty deeds that you're doing. Ask for forgiveness. Say, Lord Jesus, come into my heart. Be Lord and Savior of my life. For the rest of my days, for the blessed of my days, I will serve you. Forgive me, for I am a sinner. I believe you died on a cross, but on the third day you rose with all power in your hand. And Lord, I just want to serve you. I want to serve you and thank you, Lord, for loving me just as I am. And guess what? In all heaven rejoice. And the Lord is going to come into your heart, love you to life. And I pray that he will send people to you to love on you. He will send mentors to you. He will send men and women of God that will teach you of the Lord. Learn to be taught of the Lord. Adults, learn to be taught of the Lord. That should be a confession. I will be taught of the Lord. The Holy Spirit will lead me and guide me in all truth. I will read my Bible. I will pray daily. He said, day and night will I seek him. Learn to be taught of the Lord. And come in agreement with me that this is a decade of Trump. That trumps all the Foulness, all the deceitfulness, all the wickedness. God is going to overturn the wickedness. And guess what? He's going to do it in the nation. He's going to do it before men and women. It's not going to be a hidden thing. God is going to overturn the wickedness, the foulness, the deceitfulness. Judgment is already here. Judgment is already in the land. This is the decade of triumph, of tools, of teaching, of tenaciousness, of timely behavior behavior of transition of restructuring of remarkable resources results refreshing recreation resources rejoicing this is that decade where we will rejoice in the lord because we are going to see the salvation of the lord it's not going to be a hidden thing it's not going to be it's going to be televised because <laughs> god is raising up the righteous to speak in all nations, in government, in schools, God is raising up the righteous and he is slaying the wicked. God is slaying the wicked. 
Mm -hmm. I'm going to say that. God is slaying the wicked. Mm -hmm. So bless you all. God bless you, Dr. Shireen. God bless you, Shanna. God bless you, Sione. Um, Everyone that's on here, Lois. Um, if I don't see your name, because I'm only seeing certain names that come up. Thank God for what he's doing in the earth. Mm -mm -mm. And God has heard the prayers. God has heard your prayers. God has heard your prayer. This is the decade of restructuring. God, you're not going to be restricted. This is a decade of restructuring, realignment, readjustment. And you got to learn how to, you can't die in the adjustment season. You can't die in the alignment season. You can't die in that season. You got to get back up, dust yourself off. Allow God to restructure you. Thank God for the cloudburst because it's coming. The glory cloud, the revival. Hallelujah. So bless you all. Have a wonderful day. Have a wonderful week. And if you have not yet gone and like Blessed Beauty Experience is my new business page where I sell gifts for men and women um, that enhance the beauty from within. What are you waiting for? Hallelujah. Support the um, small business people, right? Go like my page. Go check out my um website blessed beauty business gift for men and women very reasonable i sell scarves i sell some makeup perfume cologne um just go check it out it'll bless you the holiday seasons come up there's always somebody birthday um blessed beauty experience and this month if you buy one of the mixed beauty bags what i do mix and max beauty um items for men and women if you buy one of them you either get a free um eyebrow pencil or um hair oil so, God bless you all. Thanks for joining. Share. This is the decade of Trump. God will, is Trump. He will, Trump means to outlast, to outperform, to upstage. God is going to upstage the wickedness that is in the earth. Watch and see. Hallelujah. My God. The wicked is going to be slayed. Decade of uncommon resources. And that's what I'm praying for you. That you have every resource available to you. That you use every tool available for you in this decade. Because this is the decade of monumental change. Momentum, manifestation, and uncommon resources. So thank you, Lord. And we bless you. And I come on agreement for strategies, for answers, for receipts somebody needs to find a receipt so i come on agreement for you to find that receipt because i um what i'm hearing by way of the lord you lost a receipt that you can't get your money back or they won't redeem it so i come on agreement that you will find your receipts because it's a lot of money hallelujah so in jesus name we pray and we thank you and i come on agreement for your healing for your strength um and for your restructuring, the Lord said that it's time for some of you guys to restructure, restructure, okay? So God bless you. Have a wonderful day.